Hello, today I'm going to introduce you to um, some specific acupressure points that are referred to as neurolymphatic points. So these points are just a series of points related to um, each meridian that are on the physical body and you, they are neurologically linked to the lymphatic system. So they're not a part of the lymphatic system, but they're neurologically linked to the lymphatic system. So when we're cleansing the energetic body, there's a lot of toxic energy being released. And so these series of points and this process um, can be really powerful in helping to shift energy. So through stimulating these points for 30 seconds to a minute, we're shifting energy in each of the energy channels or meridians within the body. And we do it in a sequential order. We start with the central meridian and then follow it with the governing meridian. And then we move to the time of day that it is and we go to that meridian. So each meridian has a two hour peak energy period. So if we were to start at seven o'clock in the morning, then the meridian with the peak energy at that time is the stomach meridian. So we would go to the stomach meridian point and then follow sequentially around. And I will go around and show you the, the order that you would follow from that point. But you can start at any point and then sequentially follow around depending upon what time of day it actually is. So the neurolymphatic points are a really helpful detoxifier and they're also really energizing for, for the energetic body because they're shifting energy. So it's removing blocks and it's allowing energy to flow better within the meridian channels, which obviously creates an energizing effect and allows the physical body, the body, the mind, the spirit to all function at a more optimal level. And it really raises the vibration of the energetic body whilst cleansing, which is what we're all about. So we're going to start, I'll show you each point and we'll briefly rub each point. Um, normally we we'll do you know, 30 seconds as a minimum, but it can be anywhere up to three minutes. Just to let you know that these points can actually be quite tender as well. So as we're massaging them, it's just a gentle but firm um, stimulation of the points. Okay, so we'll start with the central meridian and the points for that are just uh, these here under the arms. So each point has um, one on the front of the body or the anterior of the body, and one on the posterior or the back of the body, but we're going to just focus on the anterior. So this is for the central meridian, and we always start with this point. So we're just rubbing, sort of like with the karate chop position. It's a little bit awkward, but it's fine to do. The, cent sorry, the governing meridian is our second point, and we actually need to go onto... Um, the, the side of our sternum or our chest bone and we're going to the second the space between the second and third rib and we're going about two centimeters out so we're just stimulating that point so this is the governing meridian and so the central and governing meridians are sort of like the mama and papa meridians and they act as a reservoir of energy for the yin and the yin and yang meridians so we always stimulate these first so you can see how I'm, you know, gently yet firmly rubbing these points. Okay, and we will go to whatever time of day it is. So let's just start at seven o'clock in the morning. So if you were doing this first thing in the morning, which is a lovely time to do it, to give you a nice invigorating, energizing start to the day, you will go to the stomach meridian. Point. And so the neurolymphatic point for the stomach meridian, if you go to your left side and you go to just under the, the fifth and the sixth rib point. And so it's just, just about there. So going to that point, left side of your body and giving it a nice rub. Again, using the side of your hand and stimulating it across like that. So from the stomach, we go to the spleen meridian, which is at its peak from uh, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And the spleen neurolymphatic point is on the same side, just underneath your stomach meridian point. And if you follow your rib line down, you just kind of feel like a small notch and you just rub that notch where it sort of indents. So rubbing that.
Okay. Then from the spleen, we go to the heart meridian, which is at its peak from 11 a.m. to sorry, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And the point for the heart meridian is it's on the side of the sternum between rib number two and number three. So just in here, right in close to the sternum, and we're just stimulating that point. And as you're doing this, you know, you can be really breathing deeply with the intention of releasing any toxicity within your, within your energetic body. I am clean, I am cleansing, I release what no longer serves me. Just holding those thoughts, those intentions as you stimulate these points. From, from the heart meridian, we move on to the small intestine meridian, which is at its peak from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And the neurolymphatic point for the spleen meridian is the rib line. So basically, essentially, it's like an inverted V just down through here. So we just give that a big rub. If you're having stomach upsets of any sort, digestive issues, you know, rubbing the stomach meridian point, the neurolymphatic point for the stomach meridian, small intestine, this point, and then also for the large intestine, will really help to stimulate um, these meridians and help, you know, really release any toxicity or any imbalance that is occurring. Okay, from the small intestine, we go to the bladder meridian, which is at its peak from 3 p.m. in the afternoon to 5 p.m. And the neurolymphatic point for the bladder is right on the pubic bone. So if you just go right onto that pubic bone and we're just stimulating right there. Okay, so again, we're just stimulating the anterior neurolymphatic points. And this would be a really good spot to stimulate if you had a urinary tract infection of some sort. You can use these points on children. They're very, very safe. Um, so if a child had some sort of UTI, it'd be a really great um, spot to gently stimulate for them or show them how to touch that point for themselves. Okay, we're going to the kidney meridian point. The kidney is at its peak energy period from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And the neurolymphatic point for the kidney meridian is just above the your navel or your belly button. And you go about two centimeters up and two centimeters out. Get your thumb and those two fingers and just stimulating that point there. Okay. Again, this one would be useful if there was a UTI involved. Um, or just general sluggishness because the kidney meridian is a really great detoxifier organ. Sorry, the kidney organ is a really great detoxifier for the body. So getting this stimulator is really going to help any sluggishness or stuckness that is going on. A really great one for emotional stuckness as well. Okay, from the kidney meridian, we move on to the circ sex meridian, which is at its peak from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the neurolymphatic point for the circ sex meridian is the same as the bladder meridian. It's that pubic bone. So just, again, stimulating two fingers, just really gently, gently but firmly on the neurolymphatic point, which is right there on the pubic bone. Okay. From the Cirque Sex Meridian, we move on to the Triple Warmer Meridian, which is at its peak from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. at night. This one relates to the adrenal glands, so very, very important in helping stimulate uh, energy flow to the adrenal glands and balance the energy in the adrenal glands. So if you tend to be a bit adrenally, um, a bit high, high and wide, then balancing the energy within the adrenal gland is really important. And the neurolymphatic point for the triple warm meridian is on the chest, on either side of the sternum again, rib two and three, and nice and close and just stimulating that again. So this is the same point as for the heart meridian. Um, you will find that these points can get quite tender. So giving that a nice rub. And from there, 
we move on to the gallbladder meridian which is at its peak from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the morning and the point for the gallbladder is actually on the sternum side of the sternum it's between rib 3 3 4 and 4 5 so really just getting in getting those fingers in there and giving that area just either side of the sternum a really good rub okay from gallbladder meridian we move on to the liver meridian and the liver organ also is a really strong detoxifying organ so really really important that we have the liver organ functioning optimally when we're in a, a real cleansing uh, process and the neurolymphatic point for the liver is on the right side of the body we go to the right side and it's just right underneath the almost like right underneath the the breast around rib five and six and again just using that karate chop sort of hand position to just rub along that side of the liver okay moving on from the liver we head to the lung meridian uh, it's at its peak from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning and the points for that are on the either side of the sternum as well we're going the same as the gallbladder meridian ribs between rib 3 and 4 and 4 and 5 so getting those fingers stuck in there this is a really can be really really tender if you have a cough or a cold or any sort of lung imbalance going on um, really really powerful in stimulating these they're going to get energy to the lung to the lung organ fired up and help to rebalance the energy in the lung which is going to enable the lung to heal um, and then those symptoms like coughing um, or impaired respiration to to ease okay so stimulating those there and finally, we move on to the large intestine meridian, which is at its peak from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And the neurolymphatic point for the, the large intestine meridian is right down the side of the, the upper leg. So if I just move up here, it's just down through here. And stimulating that point um, can be really, really powerful in stimulating or is really powerful in stimulating the energy to the large intestine meridian so if there's an imbalance in large intestine which might be reflected in constipation or uh, or diarrhea then we want to bring balance back into the large intestine and stimulating this point beautiful one for babies who are experiencing any sort of constipation um, really really gentle way to increase energy to that large intestine and, and assisting the bowels opening okay and then we end up back at the stomach meridian at 7 a.m in the morning so use these points daily if you're so inclined of a morning it's a beautiful way to get the the body moving and energizing and detoxifying or before you go to bed if you're going to bed at about nine o'clock really really powerful in starting to assist the energetic body in that detoxification and regeneration process that happens whilst we are sleeping if you choose not to do the whole wheel by all means start with the central points and then the governing point and just you can just do the time of day that you are at so if it was first thing in the morning you might just do the stomach meridian point if it was in the evening and it was nine o'clock and you're about to go to bed, you might just do the central meridian points, the governing meridian points, and then the triple warmer points, which uh, <laughs> rib two and three as well. So just stimulating those. Um, that's a lot quicker. Uh, it's still going to have an effect. Much more powerful if you go, if you have the time to do the whole wheel. But a beautiful, simple, technique to really enhance the cleansing of the energetic body. So I hope you find this one useful and good luck with it.